Warning! This podcast contains Mushu? It was a question. Well, we just answered it. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC Not TV podcast for Once Upon a Time, this season six, episode eight. I'll be your mirror. I'm your host, Dom. With me, we have Nikki, Jake, and Rachel. Hi. Mm-hmm. How's I'm it going? wearing a different hat. You are. You are not Peter Pan today. Hello, Jack. Nightmare Before oh, Jack. Christmas. Same, same deal. That, that all sense. Disney. All Disney. We're um, all doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. All Disney all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get Jack on the show. Ooh, that would be fantastic. I Both don't know Jacks. if they'll ever be able to do that. I don't know if they'll ever be able to work that in. Be fantastic That'd be cool. if they could, but yeah. Um, That'd be cool. Underworld, I guess. Or one of the doors in the hat. Maybe. Yeah. It'd be weird. It'd be weird, but I, I would I would totally it's be down weird. for it. The um, show borrows a lot from Kingdom Hearts anyway. This whole so. show is weird. <laughs> What'd you guys think of this episode? This is one of my new favorites. Yeah? I really like it this did. one, too. It's because they did a lot of things that I've been asking for, uh, answered some questions that I've had, which I find that a lot of my favorite episodes do. I have a list of my favorite episodes. Uh, yes. that's, a, that's a pretty sizable list. Yeah, that is, that is a sizable list. You can read it if you want to. Oh, yeah, I'll just read it off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only one I could discern people, was White Out. People, yeah, who wants to read? I saw Dreamy yeah. as well. Yeah, so Dreamy, and these are all in order from which they aired. So we have Dreamy, uh, Child of the Moon, Second Star to the Right, Straight On Till Morning, Quite the Common Fairy, There's No Place Like Home, White Out, Poor Unfortunate Soul, Sympathy for the Deville, Operation Mongoose Part 1 and 2, and now I Will Be Your Mirror. Awesome. Yeah, um, for this uh, particular episode, it answered a question that I never knew I wanted answered never really put much like question or thought into it but it's like sydney's home when he was trapped in the mirror and yeah that was fantastic to to like get an answer to never thought it was a like i never thought it was something that needed to be answered until it was answered you know we didn't know it was like another realm we just thought it was just yeah they did in the mirror yeah it was really cool really cool and it's not wonderland yeah, right. and so I thought at first I was like, "Oh, she's gonna throw her to Wonderland." What? That wasn't that. That wasn't Wonderland. No. Nope. nope. At least it didn't look like Wonderland, but Mm-mm. it could have been through the Looking Glass, but not in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. How do do you eat? Can you eat there? Are there like things that grow? Do you, can you go to the bathroom? Well, I'm sure you can go to the bathroom. I mean, if you don't eat or drink, what's the use of going to the bathroom? But once you die, if you don't need a drink, that's oh. keeping you alive. What are you getting food from the air? What's, I don't know. It's a magical yeah. realm. They may not require sustenance there. Exactly. But yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. Like the, so, we had we had Regina at the start of the episode. She's like, "Oh, I want to sacrifice myself to get take out the evil queen to protect the Charmings and everybody else in town. You know, Henry, etc." But Henry, I mean, Emma was like, no, no, you need to stay behind to make sure Henry's okay because I'm fated to die. Like, Emma is still sold on. She doesn't have any way out of this. Um, I'm going to die, bitch. <laughs> you got to stay here. As much as that would make me so fucking happy, right? um, yeah, it's not going to happen. And she needs to stop being dumb. Or and it? I'm going to say this. Well, what, if does, stop being a sour puss. what if it does happen? Never going to stop. Never, never, never. Oh, I want to. I want to throw this out. What if it does happen? What if they're just going to go to the underworld and bring her back? Drag her by the hair and just bring her back. <laughs> it's going to be like one of those stupid cycles. Hook's going to be like, "We need to go to the underworld," and everybody's going to be like, "Okay." What if they Hook's killed her off permanently? Die. Like, what if they killed her off permanently? No way to come back. Uh, I mean, then the show is Henry's. It goes straight to Henry. Would, he inherits the would, show. Would, he inherits would the such a show. dynamic change in the show uh, make it something that you would be reluctant to watch? No, I would if give I, it. A, I, I would definitely probably, give it its three chances. No. Yeah, I would probably still try to watch it, but I don't think it'd be the same. Oh, it definitely, definitely wouldn't be the same. No. 
So, and I think that's what people like about it. So, I mean, because I mean, we're we're just getting through another one of the shows that we watch, um, mm-hmm. and I don't really want to mention it in by name, anything like that, um, because it's it's kind of spoilery if you've never started the series. But one of mm-hmm. one this one show in particular, the main character has been gone for the last two seasons now, um, and the the show is in its final season, and there's rumor. Um, for her to possibly come back for um, the final episode. Uh, I think the show has been fantastic with her gone, and they've been able to do some things uh, that they they wouldn't have gotten away with otherwise. Um, and it brought some really cool story arcs to, to change up and actually get rid of a main character um, like that. I think brings the show into a, a new dynamic and brings some interesting challenges. I would love to see this show do... But at the same time, I really don't want Emma gone. So I would be torn. I would be torn. Well, you know what? They aren't the first person, first show to kill off the main character and still go on and bring the character back. Right. For sure. Like, let's say Dallas. Who killed JR? (laughs) That was a huge, 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 huge thing back in the day. Yeah. Sorry, my hair's in my way. Yeah. But yeah, but, and he did come back. <laughs> we we have people in chat. Uh, Daniela is like, no, please don't even say that, Dom. Uh, I don't want that. Don't uh, put I'd that be heartbroken if Emma was killed off and never coming back. Um, Sally says, uh, it would be cool, but I doubt they ever would. Uh, and I, I agree. I agree. I mean, the possibility is there. Just to freshen up the show, even for a season. But Give us that. Fun. It will just be just be Captain Hook again for a little while. No, 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 no. They gotta have babies first, and then then you can die. They could die after the baby. It's something that I would like to see. Like if they were gonna do it, something I'd like to see for maybe a season or two. But I wouldn't want it permanent. No. You know, um, but that 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 would incur that the show would last much longer than two seasons. You know, so it's hard for a show at this stage to do because you don't know how much longer the show's gonna go. Right, we want this show to go on forever. We we do until you know it starts getting into like season thirteen, and you're just like, is it over yet? Like you know, <laughs> we're we're kind of dealing with that I with mean, another one of our shows. So they're, <laughs> they're out there with their walkers. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know you're 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 referencing Supernatural, yeah, and yeah. it's you know we joke and we say, is it done yet? But really, have you lost that much interest? No, I haven't. That it's, you're you're that's being actually true like when you say that no I so I, I i feel like if they were to take emma off the show for a season or maybe a season and a half and then you know mid-season like be like hello she's back hey happy birthday surprise <laughs> you know um that'd be great uh yeah. just to reinvigorate the show because there are lots and lots of stories still to be told. Right, but I, I also feel at this point the show doesn't necessarily need to be reinvigorated. I think this season in particular no, no. has done a lot to bring back the magic from the first season for me. I'm um, not saying now. I'm saying yeah. when it starts to get dull, when people are actually saying, like, where else can this show go? And yeah. really sit there and be like, I don't see it going anywhere further with this character in general or this character. Yeah. I and agree. Also, this have, the season it would has have been to, a great. Lot to do with them, actually, the actors too. Whether or not ah. you know, they have yeah. something going on, or I they've mean, got, you know, we're already missing, you know, a main aspect of the characters for for this season. We're with the the snow and charming like situation. We only get one of them at a time, um, and and that that definitely brings on an interesting dynamic. It's it's, it's a very oh. new, fresh kind of concept. Uh, to only have one of them available at a time. And the little montage clip that they had uh, what was, that? was absolutely fantastic. Like It made it feel like it had been going on for weeks, but it was only really a day. Right? <laughs> no, it was more than a day because there was day and night cycles. No, it was so, a day. They just were it, tired. They wanted it was to go. Really, they were tired? Really? So the they're like, I need a nap, okay? Well, it, it, minutes it, making is a like sandwich. day, and then like he kisses her, so it's night, and then he wakes her, you know, he wakes him up in the day. So that's only one day. Really? Well, so no, no. I, I think it was literally like the kiss, like 
taking the naps was like when that person needed to eat f- to sustain themselves, you know, like. Yes, but there was, I mean, when she, he would wake her up in the morning so she could go do her work and her job. And then she would wake him up at night. And there was day cycle. There was a night and day cycle going on. So it had to have been at least like three days. But going. the story going along on the sideline was really only a day long. Regina and Emma were put into the, the mirror. Well, yeah, no, uh, but Henry the, was this, getting ready this for scene this. The scene that Rachel's talking about was before all that. This, okay. this is what opened the show. So I, I, I think I, at least two days have passed during that, that kind of uh, montage thing uh, that mm-hmm. they did. And I love the way the first one ended with, with Snow just, like, she's leaning in for the kiss, and then she's like, nope. And she turns and just smashes the mirror, and she goes, she's watching us. And I was like, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I, I just, I, for some reason, I felt that it was happening, like, concurrently with the, the storyline with Henry and Regina and Emma and all yeah. them. That's it was the like feeling a, I got. It's been a couple days since they, um, they uh, enacted the curse for themselves. Yeah. I like how after they kiss each other, they gracefully fall back onto the pillow and then fall asleep. Uh, I would assume that this would be instant, and as soon as they touch lips, Charlie just crashes onto her. That would be so awkward. Yeah, it would. That would be hilarious. It's just like <laughs> narcolepsy, just, just <laughs> gone, like instantly, you know? like. Well, I mean, that's kind of how it happened the first time Charmaine kissed Snow when she was first put under this curse by uh, the evil queen. He just kind of fell off the, the There's kind the of like There's kind of like a minute of like haze of like them slowly drifting off kind of thing it's not it's well, not like a instant kind of you know well you know in the movie but i was thinking the same thing jake i was like, like what did she the apple? she's like oh <gasps> i was like when they just fall asleep like on each other's face you know like i don't know but <laughs> you know the, the, ex- right our boob. Like, <laughs> the exchange of notes and videos and like gifts like the flowers and stuff that's all like extremely sickeningly sweet of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they can't adorable. be sickingly sweet on all, all over each other while they're awake, so they have to do something. No, I know. I mean, they can't do each other. You know, that person's sleeping. You can't be sickeningly sweet on them while they're sleeping. That's a little weird. I'm not going there. I'm nope. Not. Yeah. No. I so, uh, yeah. How about Emma and Regina? <laughs> Regina's not being sickeningly sweet to Emma. She's being a. She's grumpy. Of course, she's grumpy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you talked me out of killing myself, and now we're stuck in a mirror realm. God damn you, Emma! Well, I love their whole plan to put <laughs> the evil queen there, you know, in the first place because that was really cool. But evil queen, one step ahead, you know, switched the mirrors out, threw them in it, and then she broke the mirror afterwards, so nobody could use that mirror again. So. I thought this, this they called it the World of One-Way Mirrors. Uh, I don't think that's its official name, but that that's what Regina referred to it as. Um, yeah. Where there's no magic. You cannot use magic in this world. Um, and Why? and there's no way to communicate outside. Dragon seems to be an exception, because that's his actual form. I think it, you know, it's... Well, and she had his heart, so... You know, he's just a walking exception. Yeah. Yeah, Well, he didn't use magic, so to speak. He was human, and then he was a dragon. That's like a transformation. I don't necessarily think that that's a magic property. I think she... she, Since she had his heart outside, she forced the transformation inside. Well, of course she did. Maybe, (laughs) yeah. So... But I mean... But seeing the dragon there and alive was fantastic. We knew he wasn't dead. Yeah. Well, we hoped. Does that mean he's out now too? Because Henry has his heart. I don't know. Um, we we saw Henry take his heart. heart. Because after oh, he Henry grabbed, grabbed the heart, yeah, he did. He grabbed the heart, but then after he went behind his mom's, he came out and his hands were empty. Yeah, I don't know where his the heart pockets. went. He did fall. It rolled on the ground underneath the table. No, uh, I think he still has it. It's just like one of those scene switches where they forgot something you know that happens a lot even though it's supposed to be a professional production it it really does happen it's not that they (laughs) forgot i'm sure the footage is there Mm -hmm. um but a lot of times things get caught in the editing room Mm -hmm. um and it's more of an edit job than a forget 
you know, kind of thing. It may have been well, in the scene I mean. where you saw it roll, but unless there's specific emphasis on it, it gets cut kind of thing. Um, yeah, it could have been like, you know, Henry rolled out of the way and he like, oh, there's a spot and he stuffed it and hit it, you know, and then, you know, he got back up and he was like, hey, moms, hey, mom. or or he stuffed it in his pocket or something. We didn't. It could oh, have been seen like that. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Do not do that. Stuff people's hearts in your pockets. I mean, who goes We're around swinging hammers at mirrors? That's dangerous, too. Okay, <laughs> you might get a shard else? in the eye. Did anyone else see this coming, that he was going to smash the mirror with this giant-ass hammer? I kind of Thor's did. Hammer, what I'm going to call it. I, I didn't know. I... I knew he wasn't going to do the hammer. I thought maybe he would smack her upside the head with Look, it or you something. don't need <laughs> as, as, soon, as soon as she said, I need, it was the hammer of Hephaestus. As soon as Hephaestus, she yeah. asked Rumple that I need that hammer, I said, oh, they're going to use the hammer to break the mirror because you do not need this hammer to crush a heart. You yeah. could just squeeze it. And then you'll kill the person. Well, she wanted Henry to do it. Can Henry yeah, but, crush a heart? Yes, you can do that. Because um, Snow White, yep. Snow White crushed a heart, and she can't use magic. So yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just to like you know, I don't yeah. know. The evil queen wanted to well, just instill a little bit that more that they fury were born, in him. They were born in a magical kingdom, and Henry wasn't. Because uh, Rumple said, because it's to give someone magic powers that doesn't have it. Right. So that might be it. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, I kind of saw him smashing the mirror. I didn't see him uh, killing the dragon heart because Henry doesn't seem like the kind of person that even to save his his moms. Nope. And and that yep. is such a weird word to pluralize for me. I don't know why. Moms. But, yeah. But no, yeah, he he took the heart before off the pedestal before. Yeah. Yeah, but I just like I don't see under any circumstances. Henry crushing the uh, innocent's heart the way he put no, it. No, no, he would. He would. He would. There's no way because he said, "You're not gonna darken my heart this way." There's no way you can, you know, lurk. Uh, I'm never gonna join you, even if I did do this. And it's like Enjoying that he the smashed the mirror. Yeah. I mean, as much as like the evil queen is sitting there saying, "You know, I'll use love as a, you know, and basically a tool against someone," she she cares about. Henry, and you could tell it in her face, and I think that's her one weakness. That she is her weakness. About, she cares about Henry the same way. This is very similar to how Cora acted mm-hmm. with Dina. Mm-hmm. She loves yeah. Henry, but the way she chooses sure. to express that is very, very Cora like. Yes. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. And so. she wants, I, she wants. She wants Henry to be a king because she mentioned that Henry is a prince and what what no why? Why why interrupt me? Why? I'm in the middle of a thought. I, I don't know why that's going off. My phone's that, on, not disturbed. It's, it's a nice harp sound. It's so it beautiful. Was, rude. rude. My phone is on do rude. not disturb. Do not disturb. Well, you- well, your phone huh? is disturbing. It is. <laughs> your phone is disturbing. This happened Tuesday night as well. Just saying. Who is it? I mean, it's not. It's just an alarm. Oh. But, you know, we get yelled at for having no, our phones have an alarm offside. Set. There's no alarm set. So then what? why is it dinglinging at you? I don't know. Dingling. <laughs> why is it dingling? <laughs> I was like right in this moment we're talking about Regina and the boy and it's like Dana it's like oh cue the music <laughs> Is this planned? No. I'm trying to see. But anyway, continue. <laughs> Jake. It sounds like she wants Henry to be king. Uh because yeah. Henry is Henry said, I'm not a prince. Yes, you are, Henry. You are a prince. Um, and I would like to see Henry actually visit uh, the Enchanted Forest, the real Enchanted Forest, because he's never been there before. And, like, you know, he should learn about his royal roots. Yeah, he should. I mean, the only time he went there is when the author sent him there, but that was, like, yeah, the But fake. it wasn't real. Yeah, that wasn't real, so... Yeah, everything was all fucked up over there. Rumple was doing his light magic, whatever, which is never going to happen. That was so weird. It was like watching a paladin from World of Warcraft on a... Sh- horse with his golden armor and you don't yeah. do not wear golden armor no that shit isn't working that no you get, yeah. you get nick there the whole thing is gonna come apart yeah uh ella enchantress said the queen was calling that, that's oh, why I'd like, that's i would like i would like to give a shout out 
to Ella. I yeah. know her. Oh, she cool. is lovely. Hello. A very, lo- a very lovely Hi. woman. Mm-hmm. Um, but, oh, uh... I thought it was really cool to see this whole like mirror world and see that this is this is where Sydney lived. We got to see like his bed, and they're like, okay. And then we see all this project that that he apparently had been working on. And for the amount of time that he spent in this mirror, he didn't get very far. He no, doesn't, he doesn't know his shapes. Like he's really bad at putting puzzles together. He's really bad. Like this is the kind of puzzle that I would love to put together because when I put puzzles together. I flip them upside down. I don't like looking at them by color and trying, oh, all the blue pieces here. I don't like that. I like all cardboard color and, and trying to put them together. Like, that's more of a challenge for me. That's how I do my puzzles. So, a mirror, it's basically that. You have to go on nothing but the shapes, you know? So, I would love to put this, this puzzle together. So, if somebody wants to break a mirror and give it to me, I'll put it back together. You That's can do it yourself. Yeah. I wonder doing. how many times he pr- he like freaking slices his fingers. Oh, with the tight. How many? Poor can Sydney. you imagine? Yeah. Whatever. What? What? What did I? I can't remember what happened to Sydney. Uh. So okay. He's he still locked up somewhere. No. He. I remember this. He was. He's on another show. In, That's why he is. Yeah. He was in. But what happened in this show? He <laughs> was in. He, he was in. You know, on the ground in the basement. Regina took him out. Because she wanted, she wanted to put him back in the mirror. But Ingrid needed the mirror because she needed, because there was a shard in that mirror that she needed to do her spell, where like the snow would come down and everybody would get all angry at each other. Mm-hmm. So she freed Sydney from that mirror, and we don't know where Sydney went after that. I thought he came back one time after that. I just swear he came back. Um, not this season, but last, last season. season. Did he? I thought he did. He might came back for like really short. But yeah, he just he, he vanished. I'm gonna I'll try to pull this up real quick. Um Yay, the wiki. The wiki. Yeah. Uh let's see the last episode we saw him in was called Breaking Glass. No, so that was it. Okay. Huh. That was it. Okay. So yeah, Jake's right. Um but you know, to put the, the mirror back together and everything, and then, you know, the uh, Evil Queen unlocks Dragon Form Mushu thing, whatever. It's not really Mushu, but, you know, it resembles it's Mushu. Mushu. It's Mushu. I, it's I, same I, color, same everything. He does the tongue thing. Yeah. He does the tongue thing. I don't, I thought, I'm not I, a lizard. I I'm thought not the lizard. dragon was more, like, like, greenish than reddish. That's Mushu was red. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Mushu was, like, really red. He was Maybe in, it's just my monitor. I don't know. In he the, looked great. Uh, in Mulan the movie, Mushu mentioned that he's travel sized for Mulan's convenience. If he was his real size, your cow would die of fright. So this is his real size, you guys. But also, it's completely uh, possible. Did just... Mushu have a family before? With, or was he always a dragon? Um, well, because, okay. Because mm-hmm. the dragon mm-hmm. reference that he did have a family. Did anyone not catch this? You mean? No? Okay, he said he had a he's, daughter. He's, he's a dragon. A yeah. dragon. Who else do we know that is a dragon? Yeah, Lily. we've we've actually I talked know. about this that that the dragon was Lily's uh, father. We've said this and now quite he a few mentioned times. That he has a daughter. Yeah, yeah, Either yeah. That I know. I caught that. Him. I caught yeah. that. But I, I, I don't. I don't want to think of it that way. I'd rather. It's, either, he... it's either. He's not going. You. He did not just say that because he. No, I know. Say that. It's e- I'm thinking it's either Lily or it's Mulan. Mulan being his daughter, that'd be an interesting twist. That would be kind of an interesting twist. Because huh. he said he lost his daughter. But in, in this world, lost means a lot of different things. Lily was, they mentioned, they said this the exact word, that Lily was lost, not mm-hmm. dead. Wasn't she? Mm, yeah. yeah. Lost. She was lost. Everyone's lost. They're not dead. When they say lost, you know they're not dead. Right. <laughs> um, and you know, and you know, the writers of Lost wrote this show. Exactly, exactly. Everything's lost. Everything is. Um, Daniela in chat wants to know uh, what are your thoughts on Emma and Regina's teamwork while trapped in the mirror world? Looks like they are finally showing some best friend potential and not some romantic yeah, some... fantasy that some SQers wanted. They've always been like best friends. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, sarcastic little snide comment to each other that friends do. Yeah. I, I, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know. Well, I mean, they, they still had their... I never, okay, I never, I'm going to put this right, I never saw the romantic connection that people supposedly saw. Never. I don't, I don't. Never. I mean, never saw it. That's why shippers exist, so they they can create usually, that I don't they exist. The Usually, you know, there's there's something, there's some little spark or something. But no, to no. me, it was always like best friends. It was always like you know, or sisters kind of thing feeling that you know sometimes your sister gets on your nerves and you're a total bitch to her, um, that kind of thing. <laughs> I think yes, what it is on. more than anything uh, that caused the the shippers in the first place is the fact that at the time, uh, Emma had not had the best luck with with men. And Regina was not showing any romantic interest. This is before Hook, and this mm-hmm. is before Robin Hood. Robin. That's when this started. So, Just because and the fact to... that they were both Henry's mother, you know, coupled with the fact that they didn't have any romantic interest going on, is exactly what meshed this ship in the first place. But that ship has sailed. We 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 have. <laughs> We, we, <laughs> I hate it so sunk. much. Um, yes. You know, because we had uh, Regina Maybe with it wasn't Robin. A sub. We, we have Emma with, with Killian. No, it was not a sub. <laughs> it was not a sub. Stop blowing holes in my ship. So, I, I think that's where it came from, but, you know, it's, it's clearly moved on from there. Well, I mean, people aren't going to give it up, so, it, no, I mean. They, they typically won't. You, no. you write your fan fictions, okay? I, I'll yeah. read them sometimes. There are there are many fan fictions out there. So, so little. Do you yeah. now, Let me ask you guys: How long was it before Henry realized that the evil queen was was posing as Regina? Do you think he knew right away, or oh yeah, Regina? Oh, he knew. No, he as soon as she walked no, I don't in. think he did. I don't mm-hmm. think he did. I think he knew when she started. He she started talking to him when he was in the bathroom getting ready, and he had yeah. already seen the with the mirror shake. And she's like, well, you're a prince. And she went into all this enchanted stories, or enchanted forest stuff, and he's just like... Regina uh, doesn't really talk that way. No, she no. doesn't at all. But and that's where it clicked. Prior to that, when she you know, first came in, she's picking out the tie and all that, I don't think he had any clue. Didn't really seem like anybody had any kind of uh, clue at I that point. I don't know. I think, I think when me. he hugged... I think he knew when, when he hugged her because of the way she hugged him. Because she was, like, shocked. Because yeah. you saw the look on her face. She was like... What what am I yeah, supposed well, to do? Oh crap! What what? No, she oh, hugs oh. him back normally. It, yeah, her was, face may have had a little bit of dis- uh, I mean, confusion. But Hook seemed to think something was fishy, but as soon as he uh, yeah, listened to the enchanted voicemail, um, I think that kind of dispelled things for the time being. But it's it's the twelve or was it eleven or twelve times that he called Emma. Uh, that it she didn't does. answer. It was probably more than that. Well, it said yeah. it said when he picked up her phone on the beach, it said how many missed calls there were. It was a lot. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's probably more than they would like to admit. <laughs> Twenty nine thousand missed calls. All right. But yeah, there uh, was a moment uh, on Henry's face where he did realize that it was EQ, not Regina. Yeah. Because when Regina said, she said to Henry, "Don't slouch." Uh, something, something, something. Peasants. Uh-huh. Yeah, she she's said a the commoner. Exact same thing. When he called Violet, she's, when she called Violet uh, a commoner, uh, yeah. she said the exact same thing a couple episodes back. Which I'm surprised that EQ would repeat herself like that because right. it's kind of, kind of sloppy of you. But uh, yeah, sl- then he realized. Yeah, that's when he realized, think... and we got Violet back. Yeah, where oh, have God. you been? I mean, she was she's been, she's been, she's been stressed out about school. We we saw her um, in the episode that introduced Jasmine. Yeah, we saw her for a split second. They went off and they did the thing. We didn't see her again after that. We pretty much they saw her thing. for like five minutes here too. You know. I know, but we got her. You got character development. Violet, we did. Where did that come from? We did out of nowhere. Um, Violet is, was just like, I, I, I like this. I don't know where I fit in the world. You know. 
Am I a jock? No, no, you're no, not. I, no, I no, love not. that Henry ha- was, you know, showing her all these great. He showed her the breakfast, breakfast club, first. club, and he was like, "I sh- showed me sixteen candles first. No, no, yeah. I mean, it, it's sweet that he's doing these things for her, but like, she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. It's, it's really. Where's her father at? Because her father is the the, the cadet. He he's from. Screw this him. Place. He's a jerk. Excuse me. He d- he didn't want her to even be near Henry. Because Henry like, was just an author. Yeah, like he wasn't Henry a knight. Which I don't understand. Did, did, did the, he not? Henry the Prince. Prince. Does he not understand that? I know. Well, this is before, but that was that was during the. Um, I don't understand that because his her dad is a commoner. Her dad came from the United States and went over there. <laughs> yes. Where did he come from? No, I don't. Came from? Connecticut. Connecticut. That's where I live. Hmm. Case in point, he's a jerk. And again, how um, did you? And... <laughs> how did you? We still. I still want. To, I still want this answered. How did you get? Nikki's like, oh god, I shouldn't have said it. No, no, no. You should. It was. Yeah, that was good. And Nikki's right. like, I should have said it first. <laughs> no, I, I. I don't. I don't need to say. It. I say it enough. I agree with you, Jake. Though I, I would like to see how he got to Camelot in the first place. I Again, agree. realm jumping, realm jumping. It's a, that, that was impossible. Impossible. Now everyone's doing it. You realm jumping, you realm jumping, the well, rabbits, the kids are doing it. But didn't you like, was it, how do you do it in the movie? Wasn't he had like a, a amulet or He something? fell asleep and when yeah. he woke up, he just woke up there. He, he doesn't even know how. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Um, yeah, well, so I thought there was something about a necklace. Or I something. would love it actually to be tied somehow to the land of untold stories because we don't know much about the land of untold stories, and that could be a perfect loophole for realm jumping, um, mm-hmm. because you could get into the land of untold stories, get lost there, never to be able to return home, not knowing how you got there, been stuck there for X amount of time, and we've seen it's possible to go back and forth from the mm-hmm. land of untold stories to the enchanted forest. Because um, you just have this key, these keys lying yeah, around the, everything. Has. Exactly. They're, they're just or, lying. Are there any the mythological creatures that are in charge of keys other than the door from Alice in Wonderland? I don't... Minotaurs. You, there's mythological pe- or creatures all over the place that are in charge of. There was a kraken that was trying to protect the key. That... Yeah, there was a kraken, but like that was like the only one we've seen protected. Like Cinderella had the other. One. I mean, like a key oh. master or something like that. Is there, like, you know, somebody who forges keys, creates them? You know, like, what was that? Was it I the am Matrix? The gatekeeper. Was it the Matrix where there was that whole room of keys? <laughs> because the Matrix is going to come in. No, I'm just saying uh, something similar to that. Is that the movie yeah, I'm thinking just, of? I just keep, that I just just keep keys thinking upon of, keys upon keys. I just keep right. thinking of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I mean, Kingdom Hearts would be amazing to tie into once upon a time. Um, but, uh, like, that's what I would love is some character that is related to these keys to be the one that has all these keys that are out in the world to begin with. Because the question that we have is how are these keys functioning? Where did this key come from and all that? And, you know, we've kind of just brushed it off for the time being, but much like the mirror world here that we didn't even know existed and and didn't know that we wanted to know that it existed. I want to know about these keys. I want to know how Cinderella's mom got the key. Because I just think there's a, just a secret society of shady people who have these keys. Blue. Um, blue. Blue is passing blue. keys out to everybody. Please sit here. You have a key. She's you have a key, and you get a key, and you get a key. <laughs> you get a sleeping curse. You get a sleeping curse. Dorothy. Well, I think it would be you to find out how too. her mom got the key, and then find out that her mom's not really dead or something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, or you could just, you know, bypass the keys and just be Zelina and can make portals if she has a fucking wand because she can. Hmm. Cuz Zelina can do that cuz Zelina is awesome. I mean, yeah. you know, her and Belle and her their little escapade this That's episode. Weird. It Those was just two. Well, you had Belle I first like them checking together. in on Rumple, right? Belle checks in on Rumple first. The shop's closed. She's like, "Why?" So she goes to Zelina for help. And it's oh, like, yeah. w- what? Why? And she's like, oh, we have we have this in common. You know, we both have people that we care about that don't care about us. And <laughs> uh, well, constantly let us down. Yeah, or, yeah, that let us down. So then the two of them I go and approach Aladdin. I know, I know she, I know she brought up 
that Regina is the one that glared out. I thought for sure she was going to bring up uh, Hades. Hmm. That would have been <laughs> just like, yeah, just jab that. Just a that would, that bit would have further. been awful. But like, the, no, the Liam wouldn't them, have helped that after that. The two of them go to go to Aladdin to steal a wand from Rumpel, right? And well, he is a thief. The wand ended up doing nothing. Like, served no purpose, but it, it the catalyst for, for them going is we have to see Aladdin steal the lamp, right? Mm-hmm. So this is the same lamp now that the, the genie character that we know from the cartoon um, it was there, because they had mentioned that their genie has moved on. Um, they th- well, they freed him, remember? Yeah, he, right. He, he they, freed them. At the this so he was moved a on. lovely little send-off. It was. Or, for Robin. For, who, for Robin and good good for you once upon a time. Clap and a half for you. Could you yeah. imagine if Robin were still alive and he wasn't doing any of his other shows and they brought the genie into once upon a time? Oh, he would have. Do you he think he would have? He would have painted himself blue, shaved his head. He would have done the whole thing. Oh, God. He I think he would have. I think he would have. And it would have been hilariously awesome. I mean, it. I can't say for sure. Yes, he would have because he was contracted uh, with the show, The Crazy One. So it was his last. That's, uh, that's why I said if he wasn't doing anything else. That's right. why so, I said that. Depending on his contract, you know, whatever. But I think if the opportunity presented itself, he would have done it in a heartbeat. And uh, Daniela said uh, that this was such a beautiful and sweet tribute. Robin Williams is one of my favorite comedians and actors in the whole wide world. Um, and I think it was fantastic. I, I could not have asked for it to be done any better. You know than what they did, um, and but who's in the, who's, who's in the genie? Who's in the lamp yeah. now? It's got to be Jafar. I I that's the thing, is. though. I don't want it to be. I don't no, want it to be Jafar no, either. That, I want because, it because no, I want it to be, but I don't because this lamp is not the lamp we saw in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Exactly. No. I think it's a female character that we haven't met yet. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Amara? Maybe. Probably not. But no, just... but that'd be interesting. But I, I, I feel like it's Amara's either a character we, we met short, for a brief amount of time that just they've sloughed off, oh. or it's somebody completely new from... Or, or it could be the old genie of Agrabah. Sydney's back. Dear. It's no, Genie yeah. from I Dream of Genie. That'd be weird. No, that no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Uh, Hagar. Sally is saying Hagar is in the lamp. I'm not sure who that is. Hagar. I don't know. We don't know who's in the lamp. Who's okay. in the lamp? I'm thinking. Sorry. Okay, it's it could be. I mean, my best guess is Jafar. Um, uh-huh. If not, then it's not Cyrus. And it's, it's, not not any, it's not any of his brothers. It's, yeah, not Will. I would like it to be Amara just because I want more Wonderland, but uh, I don't think they're bringing that character back. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be Jafar, and uh, that's that's going to be really disappointing if it is. Kind of, um, sort of. Danielle is saying the Black Fairy, which would be Maleficent, which is not... That would, exp- in... that would explain where she's been. Yeah, but she's been with. Uh, she's probably supposed to be with her daughter, teaching her how to fly. Right, oh, but we yeah. haven't seen them flying above. No, this. well, she they took her away. Other, yeah, other they places. places. They went places but she says, far, far away. She, but she said, "Give me two she weeks." Can't, yeah, but <laughs> Maleficent can't leave. <laughs> yes, she, she can't can. leave Storybrooke, or she'll turn to dust. She said that in season four. That's why she couldn't she go look it. for Lily. She couldn't go outside of Storybrooke for it. Lily. Didn't Regina's fix that? I think they I, fixed it. I thought... Because yeah, it, was, it was that episode where she said, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to be a scary dragon bitch, but she said, I can't leave, because Lily wanted to leave, and she said, no, I can't. Hmm. I thought... Well, I mean, Aladdin's been hiding there since season one, apparently, so like, maybe she's under Storybrooke. She's and, under... If... She's back under there. She's in back under... She's sleeping. No, she's not in Underbrook. <laughs> or, or maybe she went back to the Shannon Forest when everyone went back. That's true. Oh, <laughs> Sally said she had a typo. She meant Jafar. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe 
Maybe she did go back to the tuna forest. Are you going to Oz? Go visit Dorothy and them and Ruby. I doubt that. It could be. It could be the original genie of Agrabah, Sydney. Sydney Glass. This is where he's been. You don't know if he's, no, he's back. He's he, back. I don't in think the he's land. the original. He was the genie of Agrabah when we first met him. I think the yeah, genie. I think the blue I think, genie. I think we're talking about the original genie. I think we've genie. discussed this. There are yes, many yeah. parts to Agrabah, and there was many genies of Agrabah, not just one. Well, he called himself I mean, a the capital. genie of Agrabah. So. Yeah, well, he had to build himself up for a king. Of Agra- uh, that could just be their job. Yeah, that could be all of them could come out and go, I am the genie of Agrabah. Mm-hmm. All of them probably say it. Yeah. It's, it's in the script. It's in their contract. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Outside of that, you guys have anything else? How about Rumpel's interaction with we the did dog? Learn... Do we no, have to? no. No, we purposely didn't talk about it and was going to move on because we didn't want to talk about it. That It's disgusting. We kind of have to, even though we don't no. want to. Do we? No. Okay, so this Daniela asks, part of the episode. what are your thoughts on how Rumpel has gone too far with putting the magical straw restrainer bracelet on Belle? Um, that bracelet, uh, he has gone too far. That that bracelet, we have not seen that that particular golden one in the past. It's been a leather. He was making uh, it when Aladdin was in his shop. Stealing. Yeah, he, right. he was stealing, stealing, spinning right. the. Straw. So the one we've seen in the past, the leather one, that is the the magic restrainer bracelet. This golden straw bracelet, I don't know what the properties of this thing are. He said, "Wherever you, wherever go, you go, I will find you." So it's he, not, no, I will it's know where you are. Her. It's like a locator. Exactly. She put a low jack on her. It's like a GPS. Mm. She's been low jacked. So, I mean, she can run away. She can go to Timbuktu if she wants, but he'll still be able to find her with that bracelet on, and she can't take it off. So, yeah, I don't know. That bracelet seems a little loose to me, but you know, it's magically, it's magically sealed to her arm. Mm. But uh, she has every right to be completely better pissed and. In as his, far in as his mind, in his mind, he's he's totally rationalizing it, and he it's, is. And, I, and you know what? Yeah, I, th- I think even to him, it sounds it doesn't sound good. I but think if, not, when he said it, when he said it out loud, it it his face kind of like like okay. Now that I'm saying it out loud, this just doesn't sound good. But I gotta follow through on this. Well, <laughs> I'm not I'm not excusing Rumpel by any means. I think that no. he's gone too far. Um, He's he was he had gone too far seasons ago. No, I don't believe that. Um, yeah, but yeah, in this particular situation, he when we just lost Rachel, um, he has oh, no. been like I don't know. I, I, he's so obsessed with getting Bell back. And and getting his son to not be taken from him, that he's losing sight of everything else. And it's not excusing it by any means. I'm not condoning it at all. Zero zip zilch nada. Uh, I understand his reasoning, but that doesn't make it right. No. Um, he's doing it with what he believes are the best intentions, but they're not at all. No. Rumpel believes that his way... <laughs> Is the right way. Right. Which he used to believe he used to believe that what he was doing was wrong, but doing it for the right reasons. Right. Now he's doing now he's doing the wrong things for the wrong reasons. Right. I don't think he I do not think he loves Belle. I think he's obsessed with Belle. And there is a difference. I don't think he loves baby Mo. I think he's obsessed with the idea of having another son. Yeah, I was gonna say he and, he he's obsessed with the f- He's, a, he's also scared. He's a, he's you in keep love, that in mind too. He's a, he is scared. He's in love with the fact that he could love someone, kind of thing, and to not have her or to have that love anymore. He's scared the shit out of him. Yeah. And you do not, Rumble. You do not, dearie, Bell. No. Fuck no. Ooh. No, yeah. When he, he said dearie, I went, oh no, you did not just do that. Mm-mm. No. It, it. You know, if he had any relationship with Bell, he would have long past moved past like calling her dearie. 
Yeah, and, he, and you know what? And I think it also freaks him out. I think the reason why he did is because he knows that she is not scared of him. Yeah, yeah. she's not frightened of him. She, he's she, trying I mean, to play she's, all tough and yeah, protective, and, and it, it's just she's totally taller, blowing up in his face. She's tall. He's he's shooting himself in the foot. He actually hammered himself. Well, in yeah, foot. in the knee. Took an arrow to the knee. Yeah, and then. <laughs> Here's this was interesting. Uh, Rumble, you still <laughs> Zelina because you blame everything on Zelina because no, no, it's it's never your fault, Rumble. No, no. Well, um, no. and I, Zelina throwing shade, and I love when she does this. He says Rumple still skin takes children, and then she says <laughs> you didn't do that with Bellfire. I know that was like choke. Yeah. He did the Darth Vader choke hold thingy, and no, it he had a, a little mini heart attack because we learn back in season four when Zelina. Uh, saved him she wasn't just saving him she put an insurance policy in if Rumple hurts Selena he's going to hurt himself mm-hmm. and that's awesome and he's like oh, I'm going to find a loophole I hope he never does and yes Zelina yes unfortunately he's Lila. going to because that's what Rumpelstiltskin does best is find loopholes as he stated himself well, before poofing the out only the other way he's gonna hurt well, I'm gonna, her sh- I'm gonna shove her. that loophole right up his ass the mm. only way he's gonna hurt her without hurting her physically is to go after her baby yeah. and no, no, he's no, 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 and no, so far no, he's no, not no. he's not above that shit you know he's not no he, he's not he's not but don't you no. no, no babies for well, you, Rumpel. No. Now, now, what Selena needs to do is she needs to go to Regina and say, "I need a perspe- uh, protection spell on my baby for Rumpel." The same way that they did on the Charmings and so forth. She needs to go to somebody who will do that for her. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think Rumpel. Rumpel's <laughs> not going to hurt the child. I don't no, I, well, I don't think he's going to hurt him. No. He's going to do something like, to the baby to get to Selena. Any kind of magic, it would like if he wanted to go poof and put the baby somewhere else, it wouldn't work because it's protected. Mm. You know, just like I mean, he could pick up the baby and carry it nicely to a place that that he can do. But to do magic on it, which he likes to do magic, it would make sense. Yeah, leave the baby alone. No, yeah. I'm but gonna. You know which baby you're not leaving alone? Neil. Yeah, Bell. Bell's baby. I don't want to jump. Well, eh, next. Episode. I do like the fact that she found out about the snippers, and then everyone else found out about the snippers. Yeah. So that's that's just kind of out uh, there. I'm gonna completely, secret. I'm gonna completely bypass the the tongue down the throat. But what about? <gasps> yeah. What about the mm-hmm. fact that Rumple asked uh, the evil queen to kill Zelina? Well, now this is where. I believe that I think where I think they're going with this story is that EQ is going to go soft and they're going to merge back together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we've seen that the, when you split yourself in two, the other half of you can develop a like goodness. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think EQ genuinely loves Henry and Zelina. Of course. Or at least she's starting to. She loves the feeling of family. That's Whether what, she's, she's never had it. No, uh, no. The evil, qu- evil queen yeah, has always must- had family. Whether it was shitty or not, she's always loved the fact of having it. Yeah. So she's gonna do everything to, in her well, power to she keep always, it. She always complains about how alone she is. She's so alone. No one likes me. I'm so alone. She's such a maybe you should stop being a bitch. I know, Rick. But I also think she. I mean, she still has the memories. She has the memories of her when her and Zelina were kids playing. She has those memories, and she was not going to forget them. And she still, she's still attached to Zelina. She still loves Zelina, whether or not she's split or not. And I don't think she's going to do it. She's going to find. She's going to do something else. Yeah. She's probably going to team up with Regina or something. Yeah, that'd be interesting. For sure. And they're going to meld together with our powers combined. They are Captain yeah. Planet. One, Wonder Twin powers activate. Wonder Twin. There you go. Uh, you guys have anything else for this episode? Um... We have no more Rumpel and evil queen kissing because that's a... <gasps> no, 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 no. Let's not, let's not do that. Uh, I would like to... There was 
in that scene where Aladdin was sneaking through a Rumpel shop, there was a little symbol monkey on the desk. Yep, yep. I love it. Little yeah, Abu. it's like the toy uh, Apu from from Aladdin Abu, yeah. when uh, uh, when uh, Jafar, Jafar turned him into the toy. It's yeah. like the same thing. I loved it. Yep. I do love the fact that Regina was still evil enough to send Zelina the note and to have Zelina find the. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, that was last episode, yeah. But, uh, no, but I, yeah, I don't think that was evil. That was her logically thinking of a way to distract or to, you know. But you know, so, no, but just go. It just something. goes to show that she's not lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so just like the, and also what the dragon said, you know, you, yeah. you gotta have a little the balance, good and evil. Yeah, I think that's what this season really is. Yeah. All about it has to. Every character has it. That's why they're going into all of that with uh, Emma as well. Yeah, I mean, Emma they, they talked tired. about how this, the light and the dark this. have to have a balance and everything here. The dragon started talking about that before Regina stepped in and yeah, her we, evil queen stepped we, in and started speaking for him. Yeah, um, yeah, we kind of touched that in season four, but I think we're doing it more this season. Yeah, yeah. 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 Emma looks so tired in this episode. She's, she just looks she's sick. so. Well, she's drained. You know, she's dealing. She's dealing with everything. You know, she, she has just, so her hair, and and you know she's not wearing her leather jacket. She wore a cardigan. Mm-hmm. She's been doing that oh, a lot that, this season. Like, it's like a cardigan. Well, isn't she wearing? Yes. Isn't she wearing the the jacket in the the flash forward dream thing that she's having? No, she's just wearing a tank top. She's wearing a wife beater. Oh, okay. Oh, she was she was wearing the. I remember. Few, a few episodes back when we were doing the Once Upon a Time Rewind, we were wondering what happened to that blue leather jacket. It was actually back, I think, in the last episode. Yeah. Yeah, it came back it's very briefly weird. this it's season. Weird. I don't know if it was last episode, but it was definitely this season. Because I'm like, something's off season. about you, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was it, it, was it was the episode when they were in the cemetery, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was um, weird seeing in a dress. So it was kind of like, what are you doing in this dress? This is weird. Know. Yeah. Anyway, next episode is called Changelings, um, and we have a week break between that uh, for, I'm assuming, Thanksgiving week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna, um, in a fairy tale land flashback, Rumple collects Jack and Jill's son as bait to lure a powerful being to him. Uh, back in Storybrook, Gold tells the Evil Queen that she must kill Zelina. And the evil queen makes a decision that will change her relationship with her sister forever. When Belle discovers Gold's plans for their son, she convinces Hook and Emma to help steal squid ink that can immobilize him. And as a result, Belle is left to make a sacrifice that will affect the lives of everyone in Storybrooke. Meanwhile, Jasmine finds a genieless lamp that she hopes to use to save Agrabah. And Aladdin finds a way to be her hero. So the the, the lamp genie. the lamp is empty and in order to grant wishes Aladdin has to be the genie pretty much or that that's what I got out of that yeah um, yeah I Aladdin guess Aladdin would... finds a way to be her hero by becoming the genie I don't know maybe with Eva Queen in there she has to be the genie could be wrong but but that that's my guess as well or it could be or it could be Jafar they put they. Put Rumple in there. He has to be yeah. a genie now. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I would love to see Rumple as a genie. Yeah, I. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, looking forward to next episode, but I am also not because we saw uh, Belle screaming and she's growing. This okay. Here's the thing, and it's same thing that happened. Another accelerated same, birth. Same thing that happened in season five. No, she ate the onion rings. Don't do that because here's the thing: when you're pregnant, the the body needs to you know change and like move some things around for the baby to grow and that takes a while if you do that if your body does that in the span of a couple of minutes the things things do that really quickly and that is not oh god pleasant. don't you know, I, 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 of, I, I feel my body bones cracking things. and stretching and oh god i don't want to oh god the hips and the pelvis they're broke. It's not even that like cuz your your uh, your rear ribs expand, you know, everything gets moved around, your liver is up in your heart and you know it's just it's like it's it's like your liver is up in your heart. 
Can you imagine? It gets pushed brain, up all the way up here. I mean, your liver is already that, yep. with that behind short your of time, With that short of time, short of time, the baby growing, you could feel the baby turning and then the feet being jabbed up into your ribs. And oh my, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it. Uh, oh. Poor Belle. I. I just. I can't. I. I'm probably gonna cringe when I watch that yeah. scene. Just saying. Um, Brian says it seems like the savior mythology aspect is being glanced over. Uh, it's, Not really. I think it's a little too early to tell. Um, we'll see on that. But Brian also said the Black Fairy's coming to the show. We have an actress cast, and it's not Maleficent. Uh, oh. So that'll be interesting um, to see as well if that is true. It's, it's the other half of Tinkerbell. <laughs> Um, but Daniela <laughs> asks, are Jack and sister? Jill brother and sister? I thought they were. And still, so when, but they have kids. No, but they, Jack and they, and the nursery rhyme, it never says. Right. I know, but as a child, you assume that they're brother and sister. Yeah, but as a child, you also assume that when Jack falls down and breaks his crown, that you're talking about a crown that he's wearing on his head. No, when, I knew he broke his head. When in fact they're talking <laughs> about the the crown in your skull. Yeah. If you break your crown, your brain is spilling out of your head. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I never went that far as a child, but I knew he smashed his head on and you and know, also, as you like, know, um, Dumpty, they never specifically said he was an egg, and true. he wasn't. It's yeah. not. It's a the cannon. <laughs> the cannon. Spoilers. So yeah. Anyway, I think that about does it. Nikki, where can the people find you? They can find me on Twitter at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-I-V-E-M-24. I think Rachel my just cat. fell down. No, my cat. Jake, where can the people find you? You can find me here on YouTube at Jacob Salazar, or you can find me on Twitter. Tweet at me throughout the week, throughout the life, at To Nowhere Land. That is T-O-N-O-W-H-E-R-E-L-E-N-D. Join the Nowhere Land Society. Rachel, where can the people find your camera falling into the abyss? They can find me at Savannah17 on Twitter. I post pictures of this little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's cute, but he's a brat. Mm -hmm. And you can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. -E you can find us all and more on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, Ace, <laughs> and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. Until next time. That darn cat. Mm -hmm.